Okay, well tonight's uh, <laughs> gonna be an interesting night. I'm supposed to be giving a talk for Lancaster Photographic Society on flash uh, with speed lights. And there was gonna be two of us doing it. I'd have one stage set up with speed lights and there'd be another stage set up using studio strobes. And as of three or four days ago, he didn't have a model. And as of three o'clock this afternoon, he can't make it. So <laughs> now I have to teach 60 people all on my own, so. This will be fun. But right now I'm heading over to meet up with Tasha and then we'll walk up to the meeting. So, nope. say hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so it's just me and you tonight. Yeah. Evening. I don't know. It could be 40 or 50 or 60. You don't get shy, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. We'll find out, yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry. And uh, she just came back for a visit. Get confused and locked. Alright, so I'm just getting my stuff ready to go out and talk and I've no idea what I'm going to say because the other guy was going to do that. Gary. 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 Hi, Gary. Oh, hello. Just showing a wonderful sculpture in Morecambe. Have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> You've caught me wrong side. Yeah. In fact, I haven't got a good side. No, just two bad sides. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. So, so just quick show of hands, who's worked with any kind of flash before that's not built into the camera? Okay, so quite a few of you, that's okay. So this is Tasha, who's come to prance around in front of the camera for us this evening. The background's still gonna be out because I'm gonna bring you forward a little bit. And I'm what, about seven or eight feet from Tasha and then Tasha's about another seven or eight feet from the background. So the background's gonna be out of focus anyway, even with a, a fairly deep depth of field. We might need to have him coming closer because when the light hits Tasha from this side, it's only coming from here. So it's only coming three or four feet. But when it comes off the reflector, it's traveling seven or eight feet losing some power because of the reflector and then it's bouncing back another three or four feet. So I'm going to have you just come in a, actually quite a bit closer, about there. We've switched out the main flash at the front for the big studio strobe and you can see with a more powerful strobe we can use much bigger soft boxes so you get much softer shadows. Instead of the reflector at the back we're using, the flash we were using in the first half we're using now as the rim light but we're still going to use the reflector so someone's going to have to come and hold it because this is going to become the fill light. So let's try this, there we go. So if you take another shot now, you'll see the difference now that we've dropped the power from the backlight. It's not quite so overpowering. This is another advantage to studio strobes. They have what's called a modeling light. So you get an idea of how your light's gonna look on your subject. Gary, just move in a bit closer this way. And that, that too, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yes, please. 